Oh, hey man, so look, real quick, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do my normal intro. I ain't gonna take out too long. I ain't gonna take about your time. I'm not doing the intro, none of that. Ignore Kira, LA, I don't see her right in the background. We just gonna ignore her right there. We just gonna let her face out. She's a pregnant woman, so she <laughs> she laying down your ass. We just gonna like, we don't see her. But yeah, man, so anyway, man, the reason why y'all click on this video, man, y'all seen that title, y'all seen that thumbnail or whatever. You know, it's had to juice it up a little bit more than what it is, but basically, you know, so I'm just giving y'all a really an information type video, man, for all the OGs from back in 2018, 2019, man, y'all already know, you know what I'm saying, I keep it straight 100 with y'all, I don't lie about nothing, no shit code, nothing, don't hide nothing, you know what I'm saying, I let y'all know everything that's going on with me, my personal life, and everything like that. Now, like I said, basically, I'm going to cut right to it, we can do all that dribble jab, beating around the bush. So basically, you know what I'm saying, y'all know that the kid ain't been consistent, you know what I'm saying, we ain't, I ain't been bringing no consistent videos, I ain't been being consistent on the channel, period, at all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm not making no excuses or nothing, you know what I'm saying, I haven't been consistent with nothing, well, I have, but I haven't, what I mean is, you know what I'm saying, from the outside looking in, y'all don't know, really, you know what I'm saying, like, my life outside of YouTube, outside of YouTube, I am a full-time father, yes, of my two kids that I already have, Aliyah and Hakeem, I have them full-time. I ain't making no excuse or none of that, not complaining. I'm just telling, I'm letting y'all know. I have my kids for it. It's not no, I get them this weekend, I get them that weekend, or every blue moon. No, my kids is with me 24 7, every day, all day. They're back there in the bed, laying down, sleep right now, watching TV. My kids are always with me. If they're not with me, they either at my mama's house or at a family member's house. You know what I'm saying? They're always with me. I ain't throwing hate at nobody, I'm not throwing shame on nobody, I'm not saying nobody not doing their part right or nothing. I'm just letting y'all know. I got full custody of mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm 20 years old, got full custody of both of them. Boom. Nip that in the bud. On top of that, you know, I work full time. The plant I work at is a manufacturing plant. We use it in work how much we work and now, but the coronavirus shit happened. So it was parts and shit that we ain't getting no time on top of that. So basically, I want to say, really, ever since after, I think, uh, 4th of July, we've been working damn near seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? Seven days a week, uh, 10 to 12, 10, 10 hour shifts, 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, yeah, you know, we had days where we had to leave early or some days we don't have to come in. But for me, what I do, I'm a material handler. So even if the line don't come in, I still have to come in because I got to go help out somewhere else or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? Part of life, whatever. Got bills to be paid. Like I said, I'm a father. Got people to take care of. Got my kids. Got my uh, newborn on the way, everything like that. Not complaining. So, yeah, we're working Monday through Sunday full time, having to wake up at 5 in the morning. Cause also Leah is in real school, she in real school, so I had to wake up at five. Uh, I start getting ready, then I wait around five thirty to get her ready. I take her to my auntie because my auntie take her to school for me because I had to be at work at seven. So yeah, so from the time I wake up at seven in the morning, I'm at five in the morning, make the work at seven to five thirty p.m. By the time I get at work, you know what I'm saying I can't just jump right into a YouTube video. No, like that's not me. I'm not going to throw content at y'all just to post daily. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I done heard the be consistent, be consistent. I hear it every day, all day. You know what I'm saying? But with me, it, they go a long way. You know, not everybody can be consistent. Not everybody have kids. Not everybody works a Monday through Sunday job. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody has to work at all. You know what I'm saying? Some people have it made where they still living with their parents. They ain't got kids and they're not working. So they can't be consistent doing three to four or five videos a day or going out in the public doing woo woo woo. No, but... When you in my shoes and you got you taking care, like I said, you got a real family, an actual family that's dependent on you. You know what I'm saying? And you got to wake up in the morning and go to work. And by the time you get out of work, you can't just think by YouTube. My kids and my family are going to always come fresh before YouTube. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, that's period. Even if we're sitting at a million subscribers right now, if there's something going on with my family, I'm, t I'm cutting YouTube out until my family back straight. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're they going to be here. They're going to be here, they was here before YouTube, and they're going to be here after YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, man, I'm a real businessman. Like, I'm always thinking the ways of how I can be a real successful businessman. You know, like, I can start thinking one day of having a, a clothing company. So when I get to learn about that, the next day a new idea come up. I get to learn about doing fucking cars and shit. So now... I'm thinking about cars and shit, forgetting that I just started trying to learn how to do clothing. So then, boom, at the cars, I'm thinking about opening up a damn salon. And I don't cut hair and none of that, but a salon for other motherfuckers 
to come in. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mom always racing and running and shit. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm working. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm taking care of my family. Take care of home. Make sure the roof's there. I had all this debt. Do, 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 do. My brain pumping. I'm trying to be successful. How can you be, you know, these questions running in my head. One, successful. You got to be successful. You got you to make it. Can't be like your parents. Can't be like your mama. Can't be like your dad. And it's like my mind is always going and going and going and going and going. And that that's what fucks me up, man. Like, I can't. I can't stay focused on just YouTube because I be thinking about other shit outside of YouTube to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, I be trying to think about other shit that I could put in play until, you know what I'm saying, my YouTube, until the YouTube channel take off and everything. And it's like, like I said, I don't rush content. I'm not about to jump and rush and throw a video together without editing it, ed editing the video piece by piece, literally. It takes me damn near 30 minutes to an hour and a half to edit a video. Any video that we do. Because I don't just record some try to hurry up and throw it up and say, here go your content. No. Quality over quantity. That's how I look at it. I'd rather the quality be good. I'd rather the video be edited real nice. And this is how I look at it. If my video don't make me laugh when I'm going back editing it, I'm not going to upload it. You can ask Kira. She, it's been plenty of times we done recorded multiple videos. And if it didn't make me laugh or I feel like it was a boring video to me, myself, that's what I tell her. I'm not uploading this shit. I said just like that. No, this shit not getting uploaded. Delete. Like, why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? That's not going to push the channel nowhere. That's not going to make y'all. That's not going to keep y'all entertained. If I know I can't watch myself and stay entertained, why would I upload some bullshit just to upload it? Like, no. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, like, at first night, everybody want to holler. You got to be consistent. You got to do this. You got to do that. You're not in my shoes. Like, you don't know what I'm going through outside of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. A lot of people don't know that I got my kids full-time. A lot of people don't know that I'm damn near slaving in the manufacturing plant. I thank God because I'm making some good-ass money while I'm doing it. But, yeah, I'm working Monday through Sunday. So, I ain't got time to actually sit out and think and visualize a good-ass content video, a good-ass prank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there been plenty of times I was able to throw a prank here and there. But, like I said, you're not in my shoes, so you don't know what I'm dealing with and what's going on in my mind and everything, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to make sure my kids know that their daddy is here and not throwing them to the side to focus on YouTube or focus on trying to start a business and everything. That ain't me. I'm a family person, especially my kids. They're going to come before anything and anybody, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why, like I said, it's hard for me to drop videos how I was back in the days. Now, 2018, 2019, y'all seen how consistent I was staying up late nights, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? That, it's like that, that was the one when I was living with my mama. I ain't had too much bills to pay. So I had to worry about working every day. That's when I was off three, four days out the week working at a low paying job. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't be, I can be consistent, but I can't be that consistent, man. You know what I'm saying? The most... I could say I could probably do two to three good videos a week. And that's what I've been trying to work on, man. Seeing what good days I can actually take out and do videos while getting out of work late. Also, making sure at home, taking care of my kids straight. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I really, really the day ones, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking to no bandwagons. The one to just jump ship, be here one second, go on the next, and then come back when the succession shit come in. I'm talking about to my real day ones. I'm talking about to my real day one supporters, man. To the real ones who've been here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all just keep on bearing with me, man. You know, I, I know I made y'all so many promises. Uh, you know, I promised y'all that we was going to hit 100K in 2019. Promised y'all that we was going to hit it again this year. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it ain't working out. But that don't mean we're going to give up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep fighting. I mean, I'm just an underdog. That's how I look at it. You know, so I done tried different ways. I done tried taking different angles. Everybody going to count me out. I don't expect everybody to believe in me. I don't even expect you watching this video to believe in me. I don't. I don't even expect, even though she's supposed to, I don't even expect my girlfriend to believe in me, honestly. I don't even expect my family to. The only person I expect to believe in me is me and God, really. I mean, to be 100. I don't expect nobody on this earth to believe in me. You know what I'm saying? But then I mean, I'm going to give up or throw in the towel. Fuck no. I came too far. Now, I, I came too far from zero subscribers on this channel by myself. 1256 TV. That was the name of this channel when I started in 2016. I started doing YouTube Taking Series 2018. 
I came too far from the bottom. Zero subscribers, literally. Zero, none. And now we damn near 3,000. Like, I'm not rushing my success. You know what I'm saying? This is just between me and other people. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not rushing when God ready for me to take over. Because when I take over, when I take over, hey, just trust and believe. When we take over SLG, we're going to take over. And we're going to take over hard. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting back. And I'm just watching God work that thing out for me. You feel me? Because, bro, you can't lead your own way. If you try to lead your own ship without God being in front of you, it ain't going to work out. You know what I'm saying? And that's, what, that's really what my main biggest fail came in that. You know what I'm saying? I get too big-headed and I get too anxious when the close of the year came. 2018, then 2019, I ain't hit 100K. So I'm trying to rush ahead of God and think, how can I do this by myself? How can I do that? Last year, try to do the same thing, but then not knowing what God had already had in plan for me, but I fucked it up, got off track, he threw that storm in me, I failed it, then bounced back from it. Now I'm in the same boat, 2020. I tried to jump ship ahead of God without letting him lead and guide me through the water and damn near drown it, you know what I'm saying? So this time, man, I'm not jumping ship, I'm not rushing nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what he, she got going on. I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker started their channel tonight and blew up tomorrow, send out a million. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Don't compare me or the people around me to, to nobody else. Don't compare one solely, solely entertainment. Don't compare us to nobody, you know what I'm saying? We the underdogs right now, you know what I'm saying? We getting counted out. We getting overlooked, but that's all right because the underdog always come over top. Y'all remember that. But yeah, man, like I said, it just, I've just been dealing with a lot of mint. mint Mentally shit lately And then my thumbnail editor You know what I'm saying He stopped doing He stopped doing thumbnails And Really that's the only Thumbnail editor That I trust bro Like Crypto Like He really hurt me With that one man For real like That's the only Thumbnail editor That I trust That I know I could send A thumbnail to And I have my Thumbnail back like this No cap Like I could have My thumbnail back like this <sighs> I tried other people But they too slow They get to make them excuses one person I was trying to work with, I didn't get my thumbnail to damn near three days later. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, now I got to learn how to do thumbnails on my own. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't working with Crypto. I'm not letting nobody else do my thumbnails. That's that fast like he was. You know what I'm saying? Just actually dedicated to that shit. Not just doing it for a side job or whatever. But yeah, so I got to learn how to do the thumbnails from scratch. I got Photoshop. Been learning that. Uh... And yeah, man, I'm just I'm just trying to still figure everything out. You know what I'm saying? Help God lead and I mean, letting God lead and guide me to see how we can figure out with being more consistent and doing more videos and stuff like that. But like I said, this is not no bullshit ass channel. I'm not just finna throw anything up. I'm not finna do no fake ass videos. None of that. I, that's not me. I'm sorry. I can't sit here and fake a prank, or I can't sit here and fake a reaction right here and do a prank on me. That's not us. That's not how we rock. That's not how we roll. That ain't going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it ain't like I'm just being lazy and not showing that I want it because I want this shit bad. If you know me, then you know how bad I want this shit. But like I said, I got a lot of shit on my plate. You know what I'm saying? And it, just, it really just hard to stay focused, man. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, to my day ones, my loyals. Y'all just keep me in, the, in y'all prayers. Cause like I said, my mind just been racing everywhere. Um, I ain't depressed or nothing like that. I'm good. I'm just saying like everything just speed and racing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just constantly going, 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 going. I can't actually sit down and think shit out. You know what I'm saying? I actually piece shit together. But yeah, man. So I basically just wanted to give y'all an update. We're still going to try to vlog this thing. Uh, still going to try to get at a try. I promise y'all, we're going to try our hardest to do the vlogmas thing. I promise, I promise we is, you know what I'm saying? I know I made plenty of promises. Sorry I couldn't keep them. But I promise we're going to try to do the vlogmas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold y'all up no more, no longer. I just want to let y'all know what's going on. And let y'all know that this ain't that. And that ain't going to be this. Hey, man, it's your boy Juan. If you're new to the channel, man, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Turn on that bell so you won't so you won't miss when we uploading the video. Go check out all the recent lit videos, man. All the all everything on my on our channel on the channel is lit as fuck. Like everything gonna make you laugh, man. Go check out all them videos. Rock out with us. Follow us on our social media. It's gonna be in the description down below. 
I ain't gonna hold up y'all time, man. I promise y'all. We're gonna, we gonna get together, man. We're gonna get it together, bro. We're gonna get it together, man. The life take a couple take a couple tries, and the last one, it, it finally be it. But, yeah, man, so it's it, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Gotcha, bitch. About a week, ain't been getting no sleep. Moving every ring, I can't miss out on nothing. It's been a